Hi guys, Simon from TeslaLightShows.io here. Now, light shows are my bag. However, every so often we do get companies send through products for review. Now, sometimes they're a little bit shite, so they don't actually make the grades. Sometimes they're actually really cool. And that's when I'll actually share them with you. If I'm interested, you may be interested as well. So, today is a little bit special though. We're actually receiving a light bar that's going to go across the back of the Model 3 and the Model Y. Um, so my question is, is that going to actually enhance the light shows or is it actually going to hamper them or just make them a bit flat? Um, so I'm really excited about getting this one installed. So let's go and unbox it, let's install it and let's see how it fares in the real world. Excited about this one. So TeslaC.com have sent out this extended light bar for the Model 3 and the Model Y, which joins the left and the right tail lights across the trunk. You can find the link to the product in the description, as well as a discount code, which TeslaC.com have given us to share with you. So inside the box, we have the light bar itself. Wow, looks like I could take it on target practice. Now this bag has been thrown in as a bit of a red herring. We then have the long mainline cable, which we'll connect the light bar up with. We have two Y-type cables here to connect the left and the right. The Y-type cable with the yellow wire, that connects to the right-hand side tail light. Okay, to kick off the install, we're going to need to open the trunk to remove the plastic panel underneath the door. This would allow us to take off the camera and the lights above the license plate, which would otherwise obstruct the installation of the light bar. Now the panel comes off quite easily. We just need to prise it off the snap fittings, which are underneath. So a good tug should actually do the trick. One thing to note for those that have electric trunks is that there's a connector, so just be sure to disconnect that. Next, we're going to remove the license plate, the camera, and the two small lights above the license. We'll then reinstall these underneath the light bar, which will give it additional support. But before we can remove the physical camera and lights, we'll need to disconnect the cables, which are located on the underside of the trunk door, just here. From left to right, we have the cable for the down lights, we have the opening button, camera, and finally, we have the right hand down light. Now, the light connections come off relatively easily. The other ones are a little bit more difficult, but they do come off. Now, the lights and the camera have been disconnected, so we can now pull them out of the trunk just by prising them off with a soft tool. Okay, that's the camera, so we'll do the same with both light fittings. Now it's important to remember that we're actually sticking tape onto the car, so we'll need to remove any dust or general muck, so give this whole area a nice wipe down. We'll now need to remove the right hand side tail light from the door. This is where we're going to feed our cabling through. There's just a single bolt on the underside of the trunk, so we're going to undo that and then disconnect the light itself. Now with a good tug, we can remove the light fitting to expose the hole through which we're going to feed the light bar's cable. So now we're all set to go ahead and feed the light bar cable into the trunk. As we can see, the bar comes with M-free tape, which we'll remove before fitting in place. But before that, we'll just go ahead and make sure we're happy with the positioning. We'll feed that through just now. So now we're ready to remove the M3 stickers, which is always kind of fiddly for me. So once we're happy with the placement, we'll go ahead and push really firmly down to make sure that that adhesive really gets in there. And we'll do that before moving on to replacing the right-hand trunk tail light. To do this, we'll need to tuck the tail light into place. As it's behind the new bar, it is a little tight. We need to make sure that the fitting connector fits all the way through the hole, which we're now using also for the new light bar cable. 
Great, so now that the bar's in place, we can go ahead and replace the camera by snapping the fitting back into place. And we'll do the same with the light fittings. That's one. And that's the other. We've got everything in place now, so we'll go ahead and we'll reconnect each of the cables to the light, the door handle, and of course the camera. We now need to secure the right hand tail light, so we're going to go ahead and tighten that up with the single bolt and then reconnect the electrics. Now that we have the new cable hanging down, we can look to connect up the bar to the car's main lighting system. We'll take the transformer cable supplied and we'll connect that to our light bar now. Okay, for the light bar to fully function, we need to connect up both of the car's rear tail lights. To do this, we'll first need to remove the seal from around the trunk. This comes off super easy, but I will warn you, it's a bit sticky under there, so you'll need to go and wash your hands after. Once removed, we'll be able to get behind this stiff cloth panel. Now that'll allow us to actually now get to the back of the tail lights. Okay, so reaching in, we find the tail light's original connector. So we'll go ahead and pop this off now. Nice and simple. And now we'll connect up the light bar and we'll start with the set that is connected to the long yellow cable. We'll connect this here. And then we'll complete the circuit by plugging in the other end into the tail light fitting. So looking at connecting the left hand side tail light, we'll use the second set of cables that we've hooked up to the long flexi cable hanging from the trunk and we'll go ahead and perform exactly the same procedure to hook up that light fitting. And that's it. Now we've made all the connections. So what we'll do is we'll tidy up our cable work, hiding everything underneath the seal just pushing that in all the way around the trunk. That's it, cabling done, so we'll go ahead and we'll pop the trunk panel back into place. Remember to reconnect the electric tail lift if you have that. You can see here that we've run the cables from the trunk door neatly down the arm here and we've tucked those behind the seal to hide it completely. So we'll go ahead and we'll reattach the license plate just to get our car road legal again.
Great, now we'll start up the car and we'll see the light bar in action. Okay, in summary, product's cool. It looks premium, it looks factory fitted, it's got the right amount of animation, it could have gone cheesy, it didn't, it looks actually quite solid and good. Um, I was worried about how it would interact with the light shows, but it actually comes out looking pretty damn good, especially when it's opening the boot, because then we've got this arch of red, which, which just adds to the whole effect. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's a thumbs up for me, I think it's great. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. That'll help us to grow. But until next time, it's a goodbye from me.